Avatar's accounting system offers features that other management products simply cannot compete with. In our unique system, accounts payable is directly integrated into the general ledger, eliminating the complications and time spent tying various systems together. In the Avatar accounting system, the accounts payable module is not a separate subsystem. It is a simply an extension of the general ledger and reflects the most current information available. Now let's have a look at the accounts payable module. In the Avatar 400 system, the Accounts Payable module is fully integrated with Accounting. To get to the Accounts Payable menu, I click Option 1 for Accounting, Option 4 for Accounts Payable. These are all the features that are available in Accounts Payable. By clicking number 1, I can actually input an AP invoice. To enter a new invoice, I press F6 to get my date and total amount fields. I will enter the invoice date on this one or the journal entry date as January 31st. All of our dates are in the year year, month month, day date format and the total amount of the invoices that I am fixing the input is $2,500. We also have two additional features here that ask you do you want the invoices that you have totaled to total to the control amount and do you want to enter your invoice lines at eight dates? These are defaults that are set on our corporate control records and they can be changed as necessary. Usually they are a one-time setup and are not changed. When you get into the AP invoice screen, you have a header section and then you will see the detail section. By entering the vendor number, I can input the vendor number, the invoice number, the invoice date, which on this I'm going to use January 15th and I can actually input a due date. These can be calculated based on how you've set up your vendor and your due date time frame. If I have a pre-written check, I can put the actual check number there, the cash account it applies to, and this is where you put your invoice amount. By pressing enter, it will come up and show me my detail lines. It also validates and shows you this vendor you have input. In the details section, I will input the account number this is applicable to, the well information, and the amount field. I can enter an AFE if it is applicable to this charge, which I will say it is, and I will enter my dollar amount, which is $2,500 for this one. And when I press enter, this will show me I have picked, this is a dehydration charge for the carrier Henderson number one. I can change that if I need to, but if that is correct, I will leave it. It has told me this is a billable charge. It has identified that off our master files because I have told it that account 9035 is typically billable. And it also went and selected the appropriate division of interest for me. There are a few other fields on this screen I'd like to discuss. You do have four description lines. If you would like to say, this is for December of 2010's DHI, I can. I can actually type anything in these four fields that I would like to print on the joint interest bill or carry into the general ledger. I also have a field where I can actually bill one owner within the DFI 100% of this charge. So I will say owner number one is going to receive 100% of this charge. I can input a different 1099 if I do not want to actually 1099 Corsair and I can tell it what box it's going to. You have noticed these has come up Oh, it's defaults from our 1099 system. I could also allocate this if this was going to more than one well. By simply pressing enter, it will take all of this information. I can press enter again, and I'm actually ready to post this invoice. By clicking F12, I can come out and click F12 again, and I'm back to where I can verify my total batch ties to my total control amount, and it is for Corsair construction another F12 and I'm ready to post this invoice. To post this invoice, I simply put an eight in front of this field and press enter and that invoice is now posted into the general ledger. Now we're back to the accounts payable screen. I want to see if this bat, this invoice is truly open. So if I take a six off the menu, I can actually input the company number and the vendor number which was 1500 and press enter and I can see here is my $2,500 invoice. It is due on April the 15th and it is ready for payment. 
There are drill downs on this screen as well. When you have multiple invoices, you can input a start date or the invoice number if you deem so to do your research. If I F3 out of this screen, it will actually bring me back to accounts payable where I could go in and run option 10, the recommended payment list, to tell me what all invoices are due for payment at this time. If I input the company number, do I want all vendors alphabetically, yes or no? The due date that I want to include, which I'm going to say April 15th, do I want to hold any invoices for manual release? Do I want to hold any specific vendors or is it just for one call center? I'm going to leave these as their default and press enter and when I do, I will have a printout that actually shows me th these are your entries that are available to be paid. Here's my open payables list. Here's my Corsair invoice for $2,500. So if I went ahead and processed the checks, this would be paid on the next billing cycle. As you can tell, this is a very comprehensive package that would integrate within your general ledger system. We do not have separate subsystems where you have to balance them between AP and accounts and accounting. They are fully integrated as are they were are with the 1099 system. Avatar 400's Accounts Payable module is the most popular, comprehensive, and easy to use oil and gas software on the market. Contact Avatar Systems today. Thank you.